going to continue. So we're going to see the vocabulary. Okay. So first of all, we have pet adoption. Pet adoption is pretty simple. It basically consists on you going to an animal shelter and uh, adopting a pet, a cat, a dog, a hamster, whatever animal they have. And uh, you don't have to pay for him or for her or for it. Uh, you basically just uh, sign an adoption form in which uh, you express your compromise and your responsibility for that little animal, okay? Then we have homeless. Homeless applies for people and for animals, okay? Homeless, it's an adjective that means that an animal or a person does not have a home, okay? They're alone, they live on the street. Then we have responsibility. Responsibility, you know, it's a value, okay? And it's very important because responsibility means that you are in charge of something. And adopting a pet, it's a, a big responsibility. You have to feed them, you have to take him on walks, you have to play with them, and you have to take them to the vet to get them their, their medicines if they're sick or their vaccines. And obviously you have to clean their space, okay? So they're, they're a huge responsibility. It's like a, a, a kid, okay? They're like basically a little kid. Then we have commitment. Commitment means that you are actually compromised and that you are sure that you are going to be responsible for that little animal, okay? When you sign your adoption form, you are committed. Commitment, uh, we also use it, for example, in other cases, like uh, when you're getting married, you are making a commitment to the other person, okay? You are compromised that you will do your best to be with them. It's the same thing with animals and with other things, like for example, at your, at your school or at your job, you are committed to your work, you are committed to your school or to your grades because you have a responsibility and you are compromised with it. With it. Then we have sick. Sick is when you are definitely not feeling good, when you have bacteria or a virus or you just feel super bad and you usually go to the doctor and your pet goes to the veterinarian, okay? And then we have rescued. Rescued is basically um, taking somebody or taking a pet into your home and feeding them and uh, giving them water, maybe even um, showering them, okay? You, you rescued him, you saved him from the life on the street that, that he was uh, living and uh, you basically saved his life, okay? You, you made it better, a better life for them. Okay, then we have a spay. Spay is not really so relevant, but when you get a dog or a cat and uh, you do not want them to um, have any pets, any kids, you don't want them to have puppies and you don't want them to have baby cats, kittens, you um, you take them to the vet to get them surgery, and so they will not be able to have any kittens or puppies, okay? They will not have children at all. Well, not, not children, but uh, babies, okay? So that's what a spay means. It's a surgery where they take uh, the, the ovaries or they take uh, the... Um, the reproductive system out of them and they cannot they cannot have puppies or kittens then we have welfare welfare is also an adjective um that is not specifically for pets welfare means being good living a, a good life being happy being comfortable so when you adopt a dog we say that we humans um 
our, our, our welfare, okay? And, and a dog has, uh, has a, a nice life, okay? That's what welfare means, that you're okay, that you're living life good. Then we have uh, pet insurance. As we humans have insurance for emergencies, when you go to the hospital, when uh, something happens to you, you have an insurance that covers with money the surgery or the emergency. Well, that also exists for pets, okay? If your pet gets sick, if they need surgery, if they have an emergency, and you have a pet insurance, the insurance is going to cover a part of the expenses. And that really helps a lot. Then we have a shelter. A shelter is a place where like Petco, for example, where they pick up um, cats or dogs or animals from the street and they, they accommodate them in a space on their on their in, on the installations okay on the um, below a roof and uh, they they rescue them there they accommodate them there they give them food they give them uh, water and they they're better than on the street that is a shelter okay it's like an where you go to adopt and they are well taken care of the animals and then for um for the pets there are different types of insects that come on them okay so like the flea the flea is a tiny animal black and it goes jumping okay it goes jumping and uh, it feeds on the dogs okay or on the cats and then we have ticks Ticks are these ones, the big ones, the ones who bite and have a lot of infections. They do not jump. They, um, they basically like climb. They climb the dog's hair, okay? So uh, you need to, to treat your pet so they won't be um, attracting any of these animals, okay? Let me go ahead. Okay, then we have vaccines. Vaccines is what every person and uh, animal needs for them to be in good health and for them not to attract any or get any any sicknesses, okay? So, uh, for example, for dogs and cats, they have rabies, uh, the vaccine to prevent rabies, the vaccine to prevent the uh, parvovirus, okay, which are super common in them, and... Um, that is like super important. Then we have an adoption application. When you want to adopt an animal, you have to fill out an application in which you put your name, your address, uh, your gender, why do you want to adopt, your phone number, etc. So the association or the shelter in this case can have your info and uh, they can contact you if anything happens or they can investigate you in order to make sure that you are capable of taking care of a, of a pet, right? Then we have volunteers. When uh, you are a volunteer, you do something without expecting anything in return. You work for free, basically, because you love what you're doing. So, for example, in an animal shelter, you can be a volunteer, you can play with the pets, you can help them clean, you can help them um, meet candidates for adoption, okay? That is what a volunteer does. They do it for free and they do it because they love the, the job. Then we have the veterinarian, which is uh, basically a, a doctor but for pets, for cats, dogs, hamsters, everything, okay? And then we have an adoption event. Usually, if I don't know if somebody here uh, went sometime to uh, San Pedro de Pinta, but they usually had adoption events, okay? You could uh, see the dogs and the cats, and you could adopt there. They usually make a huge, uh, they, they make a lot of, 
a lot of publicity. So you can come and you can see the pets and you can adopt because they really need homes and they need people to find out about these events. 